another one year of teaching practice in these five years. But those who came from the Faculty of Science, because based on that professor idea, that it's only mathematical knowledge is enough. So more than 70 or 90 credits of mathematics at the Faculty of Science is enough to be a good teacher. So just come to learn some small things at the Faculty of Education. One year, it qualified to be a teacher. So it's create a tension between two groups of students. The, the students from the Faculty of Education have questioned this program. Why we have to spend five years in order to earn a degree and why we have to spend another year at the school in order to get a license. But four plus one it wants to get a license is quite unstable situation during that time. Fortunately or unfortunately, one university, one private university produce a huge number of four plus one students unexpectedly is uh, I said a huge number then it's create problem. The teacher councils close that program because it's been not to approve the four plus one anymore. Then it's end up one type of teacher education program in Thailand. So it's until last year, the four plus one is stopped. And still have five year teacher education program. We like fashionable, try this and that <laughs> in teacher education in Thailand, unfortunately. And the idea that mathematical knowledge is very important, only mathematical knowledge is very important, still put in action in this country. Then next academic year, we start again, four plus two. See what happened in this country. We will start, so in this, Fed tree since 1999, we imagine we have four, we, we end up four teacher education program and we start five, five year teacher education program since 2004. And we end up four plus one in 2000, 2010. And next year, 2013, I mean next next academic year, you start in June in for Thailand. We will start four plus two. This time they will earn master degree. Not diploma. But the same idea. Because they graduate from Faculty of Science. So, two years at the Faculty of Education to, to learn some professional course, because then it's been claimed that they didn't take any course in professional course, just four, four parts one. So this time, put this, some credit, for professional course in the four plus two. It's two, it two is mean two master degree at the faculty of education. But you can imagine for master program, 36 credit, uh, I'm, I'm forget to say it, one credit in Thailand, it means you take one hour for week, for 15 week, 
per semester is, is mean one credit. So in three credit, you can 45 hour for a semester. Usually we, for one subject, one courses, it takes three credit. So, how to say, master degree program, usually 36 credit is enough. But they have to take a professional course and also doing thesis as lead 12 credit and do teaching practice for one year. So you can imagine this program. A huge number of credit. In my university, we will try to, to lower it, but it still goes up to 50 credit. Usually, we, we provide 36 credit for master degree program in, 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 in Thailand. But this time, to take professional course and to do practical teaching, which on the need credit, and do thesis, do everything in two years. Oh, it's not easy. But it's a policy. It's a policy. So we have to do it. In Thailand, if you put something in policy, we have to do it. And then if you change the ministry, then we change. And then we, we can do it. So, it's teacher education programs in Thailand just focus on discussing the number of years. Four, five, four plus one, four plus two. But not profoundly discuss what we need for our future teacher. Only mathematical knowledge is enough. It's still a problem in my point of view. And according to my experience, And this idea, the idea for teacher education program, do not meet the demand of educational reform in this country. Even we provide a variety of teacher education program, but still problem. In Yesterday we also talked in, 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 in CAN project. And when we change some things in terms of policy, it creates a lot, a lot of problems. The practice do not meet the demand of that change. One unresolved problem is when we we have a big change by education reform. We change the curriculum. But how to meet the demand of this curriculum in the school level? I pick up one issue in educational reforms started in Thailand in 1999. We have, we launched the first educational act in 1999. And in this Educational Reform Act, there is a national agenda, a very important national agenda, that is to reform a learning process. Even start from this agenda, it creates a misunderstanding when doing in the school. Because learning is the word for the student in Thailand, not for teacher. Teacher is, you have enough knowledge, so you need not to learn. In Thailand, teacher need not to learn, because you are a teacher, you're smart, so you just teach. So learning is mean for student, not for teacher. Oh my goodness. Yes. 
And to reform the learning process, it means to do things with only with students. But as we know, in education reform, the first learner should be teacher, not the student. Because the student only learn. But we, after 40, right, we don't want to learn. It's just a teacher. We, we want to do some other things. But reforming learning process, it means the, the learning process both not was for all stakeholders. That is a national agenda. Students have to learn, have to have to improve their learning. Teachers have to improve the policy maker, curriculum developer. Everyone have to reform their learning process. And to respond to this demand, a new curriculum is launched after this educational act is to integrate the three components of the new curriculum. In the curriculum, it, it, it obviously says that we need a content a learning process of skills or a design character. But rarely our school teachers understand what does this mean in their classroom. They can't imagine what does it mean? What what does this sentence mean? To integrate content learning process or skills like if in the case of mathematics, it means the mathematical content, mathematical learning process, and desirable character in mathematics. What does this mean? Because they know only mathematical content. Is we too much expect to our teacher. You have to integrate these three things. But they know only one thing, how to integrate. It's impossible. Right. You, you said, please integrate these three things. But according to their experience, they know only mathematical knowledge. So I think this is common problems in, in, in this region, except Singapore and our colleague from Malaysia, maybe better than we do in Thailand. But in CLMB, in, in co our colleagues from Cambodia, from Laos, from Myanmar, from Thailand, from Vietnam, we, maybe we are in, in the same boat. We would like to do what we don't know. We, we want to do what we don't know what to do. So I try to communicate to our teacher. I always use this slide every time. But it's I I I want to show you that for mathematics educator or teacher education is so simple. This is very simple idea. But not for teacher. Not for school teacher. Then I try to communicate with them that you have only this, a small part of this, and you do not realize or recognize these two part. I try, I try to modeling the idea from the curriculum and communicate to the teacher, to the school teacher. So, how to do? Usually, the response from the school teacher that in Thai we say "Ajan my three, Ajan my three," or in Japanese "my three sensei," 
of Ajahn Maitri. We don't have time. If you want to, to, to get a real response, you have to be at school. And then after a few family with you, and then you will say, Ajahn Maitri, Lao Mai Mi Mela, we don't have time. We don't have much time to do. We have time to teach through the topic we have in the textbook, and that's it. These two parts, it later. But later is mean cannot do. So I, I will show you that only this idea, only this idea, it changing the curriculum, a big change in the curriculum. But how to implement this idea in the teacher education program? In the teacher education program. Even I know that, okay, we, we need to integrate. We can't not teach all content, process, and character. We have to integrate. But in order to integrate these things, most of teachers we still think that they can change a bit their teaching method. When we say teaching method in Thailand, it means that you do one, two, three, four, five, then you get some things. It, it, it creates that, that one, two, three, four, and you expect that to get something. But as we know, we, we can't do that in this education reform. We can't do call one, two, three, four, five steps and you get something. We can't do that. So, not only for changing the teaching method. To integrate this, they need a new idea or, or some kind of innovation. When I tried to implement this idea, in, 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 as I mentioned, in 2001, then uh, my professor, Professor Noda, now he retired from the university already, and all our colleagues try to remind me that my dream, you need you need something new you know, to improve that. If you don't have any idea, why not why not try open approach or lesson study from Japan? Yeah, I'm not sure you have no any idea during time. So bringing the idea was open approach. And lesson study to implement this idea how to integrate the three aspects or components of the new curriculum. But how to do in, in the teacher education program? Before I create the teacher education program, there's as I mentioned, there is a big problem between linking the teacher education program, I mean uh, a, a preparation program, and the in-service program. In Thailand, we only focus on the preparation program, like I, 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 I said, four, four plus one, four plus two, five years. We only focus on, on teacher preparation program, but not pay any attention to to in service program. In some other country, you have a a law identified clearly to do about five years experience teacher, ten years experience. But we don't have after you recruited at school from the first day. So you have to teach five periods a day. And then this is your life until you retire. If you like to take training, you have to struggle by yourself. Some teacher has one training in 10 years. Some teacher 10 times in one year. It depends on your luck. This is 
teach the training is it? I mean, it's a bit training in Thailand. We don't have this thing. Except for the, the training when the IPSD introduced a new textbook of the that they provide a systematic training for the school teacher. But the less is the common, the more struggle. So, to link between teacher preparation program and in-service program, I'm thinking that how we can experience them when they study in in preparation program and still use that idea or knowledge when they go to school. It's not easy, right? I bring some idea from some Dewey, 1933 book on how we think, pick up the idea of reflective thinking and try to put, to implement this idea in teacher education program. And also bring some idea from Love of Bakers in 1991. Well, community of practice. But even bring these two ideas to put in a teacher's education program, a, pre a preparation program. But when we implement the idea, I mean to implement the, the program, if we do the way we do, the way we have done, I think it's going to fail again. We have create a number of course and then our teacher together responsible for this and that course and do the way they do because in the university lecture they do the way they do. I think it's impossible. So I intentionally use these two innovations, as I mentioned, lessons are the open approach to run, to run this teacher education program. I mean, even implemented from the first, the second, first, fourth, and fifth year. So, the conceptual model for teacher education will look like this. Part of teacher education pro program as a whole holistic view. It's part in teacher preparation. And another part is professional development. How to link, to blur the line between these two programs. And in order to to run to to link between these these two programs, I select four core values instead of create a number of course in the program. But we focus on core four core values. Thai people like do things individualistic. So we need it because I'm many years in Japan, so it's so contrast experience. So we need collaboration when we do job at school because as a teacher you have to, to do collaborative work, not just in individual work. But everything in school in Thailand is individual. It's my class. It's not your class. It's not your business. It's my plan. It's not your plan. Don't touch it. So we need collaboration and public concern. We some it's feel that for Thai people we concern about ourselves and our family, but not in the 
public concern in the, in the big scenes. So we need it. So I put it another one. An open minded attitude. Mm. We were, because in Thailand is multicultural and we has, and then, then the society has been changed a lot. We, during we, we were an uh, agricultural society, we, we, we had an open mind attitude. But as the society has been changed, the family become a new nucleus, new, 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 a single family. Then it's open my attitude is the loss of this society. So we have to bring back this attitude, open mind. Why this happened at school? As I mentioned, it's not planned. It's a lesson. It's not my class. It's not your class. So if you say something to teacher, it means that you blame them in our society in our culture. So, in this attitude, we cannot work at school. So we need open mind attitude. Then, the last one is, in this society, we consume the product. We, 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 we buy a Japanese car, we buy some other country car. And we know only product. We don't know how to produce car. So we just, okay, this is car. So how much do I have to pay? Okay, pay. And then, okay, get the car. That's it. Then we have seen a lot of car in Thailand. It's very expensive car, but okay, we can buy it. Only product. We don't want any process. So we need, we need this value as well. You have to value the process. Why we value the product? So product process approach is another core value for those who are going to be a teacher at school. This is my concept is idea to put in the teacher education. And new idea as all we know, mathematics education is not only teaching and learning. But in Thailand, most of our teachers do not recognize that they need to do research. Because the, the word research in, in, in Thai it, it's a university job. The university professor job, or other people job. It's not a teacher job because in Thai, from a good Thai, we Thai, we Thai penalize no pay, right? No, no, no. But you got to achieve it. It's so difficult. It's so complicated. Only teaching job is is enough complicated. So don't push another complicated job. So research is something complicated. If you'd like me to do a research in a school, that means I will ask some other people to do on behalf. This is how our situation is situation like that. So, but as you know, in this era, we, we have to train our teacher to be investigative mind in order to observe the class and then to to improve the classroom observation. So we, we need them to be a teacher as a researcher, as, as all we know. You know, to put this idea into teacher education. It's a lot of things to put in teacher education program, you see. Not easy to implement them. But I implement through this innovation. I do not implement all courses through a 
single separate courses. But I don't know, I, I can I convey my message and uh, what I mean that. Because one of my professor, now he becomes a president of executive board of the teacher councils, Professor Pai Tun Singlala. He was my teacher when I was at Tulalongwon University. And one day when we met in Japan and we talked this and that, and then, Madri, do you know, when it's difficult when we implement the idea at school, or even in the university, I immediately said, no, I don't know. Why, why not? Because he teach <laughs> philosophy. And then, why not should you, you just stop thinking before responding to me at any places? Because I, I immediately responded, no, I don't know. Uh, he said, when he was a professor at, at Jura University, at the Faculty of Education, and then he has right idea to implement this and that at the school and then we create a number of course and then in implementation of real estate this call for this teacher this call for this teacher this call for this. then thing has gone I'm still remember his remark his motion so when I'm designing this teacher education program this is very new idea, I know. Then, then 20 years ago, he reminded me, it comes up into my mind, that my tree, you have to be careful when you implement your idea. I'm also scared how to implement this idea. This, because anyone can create any teacher education program in this country. But how to implement this teacher education program? Then, okay, I'll try. I'm going to try this idea in new teacher education program at the Faculty of Education on campus. Anyway, the course build up on this core values as we expected, culture, pedagogy, psychology, neuro, cognitive science, communication, educational research, subject matter, and yes, we, we, we design, the important aspect for teacher education that we need in this world, in the report. But making it become the courses, in the program is so difficult. And now Thailand is the Ministry of Education has their own what we call TQF, the teacher quality framework. That we have to follow that. You have to, to identify in detail each course. It's quite hard work. That's, but anyway. This is a document story, but the way we implement is another story. But we have to follow the framework that I really signed the credit. In total, 170 credit. 134 go for special educational course. This is the, according to TQF, the, the big idea is go for that. And in this 134, uh, it's, it's a little bit slight. 50 for, for teaching professional course. 50 for this. Sorry. And 84 for this. So totally 134. So big credit is here. This is a new one that I designed for this curriculum. Uh, or what we call PCK, or in MAP, we call MPCK. 
sick to hear. It is because it is slightly in sick to hear. I uh, it is easy to imagine that. Uh, let me say again. Let me say again, because this is, this is the lining. 24 for PCK, but part of the mathematical content knowledge, I separated it in two, two categories. You can imagine it, yeah. Some 36 at the Faculty of Science, 24 at the Faculty of Education, but we still call it mathematical content but we call it school mathematics. This is new one. And then PCK for another 24. So it means 36, 24, 24. Okay, anyway, you can And for general course, for every book is 30. This, this, this one. General course, you've got GE course for, for every, every student. And then selected cost six. Sorry for, for this. It's a little bit slight. Okay. Comparing to other universities, what's happening? You see this table. We, they can teach from K to 12. But here I, I, in this safety credit for mathematics, Content 36, we call colleges mathematics or F1 mathematics at the Faculty of Science, and 24 is for school mathematics. I, I am speak some where some uh, some other place about school mathematics. What does it mean, school mathematics in, in this course? And 24 for PCK or MPCK, and totally 170. This is a new idea, pushing in this teacher education program. This is a course for MPCK, like problem solving process in school mathematics. This is take three credits. Because in order to, to learn the learning, cognitive learning process or mathematical thinking, you have to provide them the idea of problem solving. And then, as we know, then the idea is come from NCTN, simply say. But I decided the course for that. So it's course for problem solving, for language and communication in school, mathematics, and blah blah blah, 24 grade. How to organize learning experience in mathematics in basic education. Level one and two it mean for grade one it mean grade one, two, three. Two it mean four, five, six. And level three it junior one, two, three. And four is the less. Then I made a survey about the student response to the course teaching at the Faculty of Science in mathematics, in college mathematics courses, and the respond, the student respond to the course taking at the Faculty of Education in new courses like school mathematics or MPCK. You see it. The percentage of students respond to unsatisfaction with courses. It is quite sensitive survey uh, in this sense, but um, this is already um, it's no problem for me. I'm <laughs> it. This is a problem for students. Or linear algebra. But it is 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 it Various is various depend on the teacher who is the teacher, but in average, 
you, you will, we will see how they feel when they learn mathematics at the Faculty of Science. So we don't want them to to feel like to be feel, to feel like this because they want to be a teacher. I don't blame them, but we don't want such a feeling for our future teacher. And percentage of un and the same oh, I'm asked the same question. Unsatisfaction with courses on school mathematics. The most important part of the teacher education program is how we really implement the teacher education program through the five years of the program. The core values, how to do with that, the four core values, collaboration, open-minded attitude, and yeah, product process, public concern, how, how to implement it. I implement this true activity. It's not an activity in the classroom, not only in the classroom, but try to link the activity in the classroom to the, the activity outside. Usually we call extra activity, but in our program, we call that, that is the important activity. You focus on those activities and just spend your time also in the class. We try to set them the mindset that any activity we provide outside the classroom is very important for this program. But most of students, especially for capable students, they try to concentrate on the courses, they want they will have to get A in our evaluation A, B, C, D, e, F. So getting A, getting A, it doesn't mean that they will become a good teacher. So we organize the activity through a concept of community of practice. At the Faculty of Education, we create what we call in every student in the Faculty of Education, in the Mathematic Education Program, know this word, social activity, or social activity. In this social activity, all undergraduate students have to participate. All master students have to participate, and all doctoral students have to participate. So we know each other. For those from undergraduate who would like to continue their study, they can have a place, a room for chatting with their senior. How do you learn mathematics in the master level? How do you find some scholarship? And then we this is a community that all have to participate in in this a cosmos of community of practice so they learn to travel the way they they should do when we go when they go to school that on the, the the student wearing the blue is experience in this social activity. That's why in 65 students brought with me here, they can work together day and night through this social activity since the first year of the program. Then your this this is very important than taking course in the class. For this is 
year one, year five, or undergraduate, master and doctoral. And also alumni, I'm so glad to say that. And alumni students also attend this activity. So that we can link a community. We plan to have a professional learning community when they go to school. Because they have to, to implement new ideas. They will face many, many problems at school. So they back to their community. So every year we have an annual meeting. Then they come to us. In for year two and three, for undergraduate, they organize my camp. And year three and four, This is school in our project school, so that we can link the preparation program and the real world. But the real world in the sense that we implement new ideas already. But if we push them, send them to some other school, you can imagine. Then that we send to the project school. And study tour, all students can participate. But the organized is the third year, I'm understand, third year. And also in international event and some graduation ceremony, we bring on the student in program to participate in graduation. Uh, you, you can imagine that the, the graduation ceremony in Thailand is very, very, very important because our, because our king is precise over in, in this ceremony and each graduate who receive the, the, the Certificate from the king. So, this is very important ceremony in Thailand. So, we have to organize things and then they can enjoy this event and also sport day. It is the scenario how we really implement this idea. Our first year undergraduate student do this problem solving open and that activity. Since the first year, and I teach this course by myself, even now, I'm still teach this course. So all students coming to the mathematics teacher education program have to take this course, and I teach this course for since year 2004 until now. In each small group, for some six or eight students, half of them solve the problem, half of them take notes. I train them how to observe the learning process and then change their turn. Do like this through 15 weeks in this matter, no lecture at all. It seems like it's easy to do, but it's hard to do. Because no lecture is... is yeah. But we train them through this, in problems of in-classroom the night. Then come to social activity. And, uh, it's my colleagues, the Professor Yajit. And Matt Kampt. What they have learned from the, the first course and open-ended activity and things like that, then they bring it to, to organize math camp at school nearby in the second year. To experience them immediately after they learn and then why not try just the kid? So they learn a lot of problems. Even they, they, yes, yes. But in preparing every activity, they have to plan together. We do, we follow the lesson study, plan together, do things, and do reflection. I request every student to do reflect one minute. For example, we have 200 students, then we spend 200 minutes to do reflect in order to implement the idea of reflective thinking by John Dewey. But I implement, I really implement this idea in 
every activity. This is the map camps plan and implemented and then reflect. And in the fourth year, they went to a project school. I I emphasize that I send them only to the project school. And also when we have an open class for school teacher, because we use the same innovation, lesson study as and and open the process at the project school. And they also learn at the at the program. And they organize the study tour. This is very interesting program for them and they all enthusiastic for this. The third year take responsible for this program. They have to organize 200 people to take bus to some other place. The end of this conference they will come. 200 students would make a study to, to come to join this conference on the last day. So now they have to organize how to divide a group. Otherwise, it's, so, it's very dangerous to move 200 people to the sea. They, have no, yeah, they don't have experience in, in yeah, swimming in the sea. So they have to plan everything in advance. They have to contact the hotel, and then they learn together. And just waiting for them to come to join us on the last day. And in some case, I bring them to learn from our neighboring country. I bring them, because it's easy for for students from Pakistan to cross the border to Laos to Cambodia. Now we have a bus running from Pakistan to Vientiane, to Siem Reap, to Phnom Penh. So that we, they, we bring them to learn from our neighboring country. But like you have seen before, I um, involve them in, in international conference to help us organize things like this. And in graduation ceremony, they also join the their success of their senior. So it's, it stimulates them, oh, this is, one day I will be there. And this the way we create the program and how to really implement this idea in our school in Thailand. And the product of our program, and this the yesterday, the, the yesterday open class, two of our internship students or our students from this program teaching at Fourth grade, no, fourth grade, fourth grade and junior one. They they can waiting why the student solve the problem, pick up some idea, and discuss in the class. It's not not so difficult, but it's really difficult to train them to be there on that class. But now we come on track. It's still a long way to go. But we hope that we can share this experience with our colleagues and friends through this community. Thank you very much for your attention.